your student is being asked to solve an addition problem, such as 72 plus 134, the way that we were all taught when we were children was to line the numbers up straight up and down. The problem that third graders have with this strategy is they don't understand that the place values need to line up. So the four and the two have to be in the same column because that is the ones place. They often uh, will forget this and they will line their numbers up something like this. So when they're doing their adding, they're gonna get a number that's in the 800s instead of a proper answer. Another reason we don't teach that right away is because when students have a bigger equation, let's say they have um, this equation, we all know as adults that we would get 13 here. We were taught you would put the three down and carry the one. What research has recently shown is that children don't really understand what this one means. They don't understand that it's one extra set of 10. So when we were taught as kids, we would say, all right, here's seven and six, and that would be 13 plus another one would be 14. So again, we put down the four and carry the one. But really what's happening here is that we have a 10 plus a 70 plus a 60. So we really want kids to be thinking about that as 140. And then that's why you have 200s happening here. That's a pretty high level of, uh, of thinking for third graders at this point of the year. So we just don't teach it that way right now. We will teach it to them eventually, and certain kids may be ready for that. Um, but most of them, we want them thinking about it in sticker notation. And sticker notation was a strategy that they learned in second grade, where a square or a sheet represents 100. A strip represents 10. And a circle is a single, which represents one. Students last year worked with sticker stations. So they worked with how to build numbers first, how to build 72, how to build 134. So what a student might do with this equation, if they were to build 72, is it might look something like this. They would have seven strips and then two singles. The 134 would look something like this. They would have a sheet, which represents the 100. They would have three strips, which represents the 30. And then they would have four singles to represent those four. So now if a student needs to add these two numbers together, they would begin by counting them all up. Students can really start however they want to. I see most of my students start with the the singles. So what they'll do is they'll slide all the singles together. So they've got six singles and then if they combine their tens, they've got 70 up top. So that's 70, 80, 90, 100. So they would know that they can trade all of those in for another sheet. So then it would be very easy for them to quickly say, they have 200, six. So it's a really concrete way of doing math. And we found with second, with third grade students that they begin by starting with the concrete, something that they can really visualize and manipulate. The straight up and down adding that we're all used to is very abstract and they'll get there, but just not first. So if your student is stuck, Ask them to show you sticker notation and I think they can do it. Thanks for your time.